In WISE, objects exist within a parent-child hierarchy and are displayed in a hierarchical structure. A child object has a parent, and that parent has its own parent, and so forth. All of these objects can contain settings such as bus assignments, volume, and pitch, but it's important to understand that the children inherit these settings from their parent. For property values like pitch, inheritance occurs in a cumulative fashion. Let's say that these are the pitch values for these four objects. When the object at the bottom of the hierarchy is played, the pitch property settings from all of the objects above are summed together to create the value that will be used at the time the sound is played. Let's see how this works in an actual project. Here is a project with various sound SFX objects that contain some dialogue already imported. Drainage system access granted. Intruder alert. We'll offset this first object's pitch with a value of minus 600 cents. When we play it, Intruder alert. we can hear that it's been transposed down about a half octave. Now, for organization as well as group control, we can place all of these objects within another type of object called an actor mixer. We'll first start by selecting them all, right clicking, choose new parent, and select actor mixer. And we'll name this entry voices. Now, by selecting the actor mixer, we can see that it also has a pitch property, and we'll set this one to positive 600. Now, by expanding the actor mixer, we can select that first object again, and play it. Intruder alert. We hear that it's gone back to its original pitch, even though the pitch property says minus 600. This is because it's been offset by the positive 600 value that we entered in the actor mixer. If we play any of the other objects in this actor mixer, we'll hear that they'll play higher than their original pitch. Drainage system access granted. It may seem that the actor mixer we just created is at the top of the hierarchy, but there's more to the hierarchical structure than first meets the eye. In order for any of these sound SFX objects to be heard, their audio signals must be sent to an audio bus. Audio buses exist within the master mixer hierarchy. In the master mixer hierarchy, all projects contain a master audio bus. In this case, if we expand the master audio bus, we can see that a music audio bus is contained within. Now we can create an additional audio bus specifically for the entry voices by clicking the master audio bus and then clicking the create new audio bus icon. We'll call this entry voices. Now currently none of the entry voice sound SFX objects are feeding into this entry voices bus. We can change this back in the actor mixer hierarchy. By default, the top parent of a hierarchy dictates the bus routing assignment for all of the children contained within. By selecting the entry voices actor mixer, we can see that it's assigned directly to the master audio bus. Reassigning it is as simple as dragging the desired bus to the output bus property assignment. In this case, we'll drag the entry voices audio bus into the output bus assignment. Now, if we click any of the children within the Entry Voices Actor Mixer, we can see that they are now assigned to the Entry Voices bus. However, the selection is grayed out, and this is because it's dictated by the parent object, in this case, the Entry Voices Actor Mixer. Should we decide that we've got one child that we need to treat a little differently, we can always choose to override parent and then freely assign to whichever bus we want. However, we'll leave this one the way it is. So here's the current structure of this project that we've created so far. You can see that this structure spans both the actor mixer hierarchy and the master mixer hierarchies. Now that we understand this, it's very important to understand that the objects in the master mixer hierarchy also have property offset control over the objects that feed them. Let's see how this works. With the entry voices audio bus we just created selected, we see that it also has a pitch property. In this case, we'll set it to plus 1200 cents, or a full octave. Now, when we play any of the objects that feed this bus, the number is also applied in the summing of the pitch property values. 
There's even property control in the master audio bus, which represents the very top of the hierarchy. We'll go ahead and set this to minus 1200 just for demonstration purposes. Intruder alert. Now, you'd want to be very careful adjusting a property like this pitch value here in the master audio bus, because this offset is applied to every object in the entire project. So as you've just learned, there's a bridge between the actor mixer hierarchy and the master mixer hierarchy that's not immediately evident just by looking at the objects in the Project Explorer. To get a better overall look at the hierarchical structure, you can use the schematic view. In the main menu, choose Layouts, and then select Schematic. At first, you can see the master audio bus, but as you continue to expand the objects, you can see their hierarchical relationship all the way down to the audio source that feeds a sound SFX object. In fact, you can even view the properties that we've been adjusting. Click the Schematic View Settings icon, move down to the Properties area, and choose Voice Pitch. Now you can see all of the pitch property offset values that are being factored in each time a sound SFX object is being played. Intruder alert.